So this right here is a PJ 14 foot, 14,000 pound dump trailer. Um, 10,000 pound jacks on each side. Normally I have to crank this bad boy. I wanted to get away from cranking it since I have a battery. Just in case though, I can always hook it back up right here. I just slid this coupler off so this will spin free. I'm trying to find a cheap, effective way to do this without ordering one of those jacks that hangs off the side here or putting it on the other side um, just because I didn't want to add any more stuff to not bang around um, and still wanted to have a manual override so I was looking for a cheap and easy way to do it with stuff I had sitting in uh, storage bins and stuff like that remembered I had this is what I actually came up with remembered I had a Harbor Freight winch um, one of their cheap winches and it's got a drum right here and uh, basically took that drum, it's hard to see, let me get some light, there I got some light, um, but took that drum, threw it on my lathe, machined it down to uh, one inch collar, uh, you know, took the, all the cable off of it and everything, and then basically put these one inch gears on, um, put this one inch gear on down here, just uses a set screw to hold it in place, I still have the actual ability to disengage pulling that out um, that way it can free spool I have to manually crank it um, took a one inch piece of steel rod I think that actually well it doesn't matter one inch piece of solid steel put a basically bearing there and uh, then put another one of those uh, gears in there this is number 35 chain and then this bar as you can see that goes all the way across that's what runs both of them, and that's what they did from the factory. They just put bolts through it. Um, all I did was cut it in half and then cut a chunk out of it. Machined a few slots for the bolts, drilled holes in that solid steel rod so it would actually, uh, so I could take it back out from service if I need to. And then put the chain around it. Um, and that's about it. So now it actually lowers and raises the jack, the, the jacks on the legs um, these harbor freight winches are pretty simple um, i'm not a big fan of this controller but it's here and it works i could put some solenoids or something in it later if i want to and put a real uh, lever on it but let's show you this will go down Show you some of the uh, I need to I need to wrap this in something. So it's getting twisted on itself. This cable is already. Yeah, this ain't gonna last long like this. So I will definitely be wrapping this solid with some kind of grommet. Right now, I'll just get them zip tied together. They're not very long, but you don't need very long to raise and lower the trailer. Um, I'll kind of bounce back here. You'll see the, the shafts turn. So you can see the jet play going out. And then going down. That's it. So that's all she wrote. That way I can don't have to crank that handle all the time and uh, can raise and lower this thing also have you know batteries always concern on these things so there is a nice solar panel charger up here that little antenna is for a wireless remote which is real shady on these things and then there's the control systems for the for the uh charger and then there's also a, a manual charger here with a flip out cover there um so that thing was kind of hit and miss and i just keep a few more binders and stuff in here then there's the pump set up but uh that's about it. Also had had to re-weld that right there on. Um, I welded it on the back side, but that had actually broken off from the factory and was loose. So I re-welded that. And the rest of the trailer is pretty much as is. I really like this trailer. It's uh, super handy because you can load stuff from the side without wheel wells. Um, had to fix these, like this one was tore out the previous owner had slant the gates had swung open or something and bent the pins and 
evidently PJ from the factory, that hole never lined up, so you had to drill this one. I've not tested this, I just got these pins back in since I've had it, but I did bevel the end right here to where it'll slide up there easier. And this pin over here was broken. Um, this entire thing was actually broken down here. So I put a I put a weld on it there to put it back together to get it smooth. I put this washer on. I just took a bolt, put it in the press, um, and actually bent it at 90 degrees. We'll see how long that lasts, but it was the same diameter. Drilled a hole in it for a pin. I didn't use uh, the actual uh, roll pins. I didn't have, I thought I had some, but I don't. And then I just beveled that, so we'll see. But it slides back over here and supposedly goes up and hits that hole. Um, I don't have enough room in the garage with the door shut to actually swing the doors out. But uh, overall, it's been a good trailer. All, you know, hundreds of tons of material total with this thing. Uh, in a three quarter ton truck and it's done a fantastic job. So definitely had it to weight capacity and it handles it just fine. Had it to where it's so full in the front that I couldn't dump it. Had to move some of the material from some of the loaders. Um, that was a load of gravel. Guy just really front loaded it heavy. But uh, it's happened I think twice. But I was also asking for six tons of material which technically puts me over late weight anyway including the trailer because it's a 14 ton or 14,000 pound trailer, seven tons, so it was actually a ton overweight total on the whole package. But, so I can understand it not doing it, but I did get it to, just shoveled it to the back and then it did it. Also built this tarp. Um, this right here is a piece of uh, uh, fence railing, the top of a fence railing. That was actually good. I had these drops, these right here, were dropped out from other stuff I was cutting on my plasma table. And then I just put some little pieces on them and little pieces of other smaller pipe and drilled it through and uh, that made that this right here is a Harbor Freight uh, tarp piece cover these things are like 20 bucks if you try to buy this whole assembly these things cost well over $100 so all I did was took a Harbor Freight it's a it's a 14 by 8 I think which is or 16 by 8 so it's got two fiddle lengths um, all I did was take it lap it over do a horrible job sewing it you know, and I didn't even change the, the thread in the sewing machine, just use whatever was in there. Um, but sewed it across there. On this other side, it's actually, I just got um, washers going through these, the, the little grommet pieces um, that are actually just screwed into the, to the other pipe down here. The other pipe down here is actually a trick too. It's the same as this stuff, I think. Um, and I basically just bought these bearings on eBay I took a piece of uh, solid, this is actually a tractor pin, one inch tractor pin. Um, didn't have any stock, so just took it, cut it in half, machined it, just beveled the edges really, and then put it in these bearings um, so it would spin. So put that whole thing in and it just goes up from the bottom. It's got a place where it'll just go up in there. Uh, but that's that. And on this side, to hold it, keep it from unflurling when I'm driving, um, I just came up with this little, I took one, another one of these gears, bought off. Amazon for a couple, you know, 10 bucks or something. Uh, ended up having, this is a scrap piece from some project, something I took apart. And all I did was put it on another scrap piece of metal. I don't know where, what it actually was, but it basically fit that perfect and it had a threaded bolt hole on the top of it. So I drove, drove, drove it down through. And then all I did was thread the, uh, you can see that's threaded. I just threaded that piece of steel right there and screwed it in. So now to lock it, I just tighten it like this and then put that down and it keeps it from flailing around. This right here is just a junk piece of aluminum that I just compressed the end on, drilled a hole in. This right here was threaded already. I don't know what I took apart, but all this stuff was just second hand. Um, and then just screwed this on there. So, and then down here is just a screw to hold this in. This whole thing just kind of compressed fits in here. Nothing too fancy, but you can definitely, you know, spin it around it's in it, and it'll kind of go back and just hang on the side there. So kind of just engineering to with what I got. But that's basically my PJ trailer. How it works, and uh, I've got some video of it dumping some rock and gravel and stuff like that. Guys loading it. Overall, it's been a fantastic trailer. Never knew how useful a dump trailer would be. I did go with the gooseneck. I do want to mount a crane up on top. I won't be able to put it in this part of the garage anymore if I do a crane, but uh, I want to be able to lift some stuff on there. So that's it.